Lord Sakai! A moment, please. It's important. I have a family. Yes. What is it? Not out here, my lord. This way. I was just looking for food. My name is Hyo. This is my shop. Are you trying to sell me something? Oh, no, my lord. Here should be fine. No one's listening. Tell me what this is about. My neighbor, Haruo. He's acting suspicious. He sneaks out of town at sunset. Gone for hours. Comes back at dawn. Last night I followed him. He went to a burnt-out house by the cemetery and met bandits there. Bandits? That can't be good. I'll find this house and learn what they're up to. Thank you, Yuri. Of course, my lord. The merchant and Azamo seems his neighbor met bandits here. Seems deserted. I'll have a look around. Lots of ashes. The campfire's been used many times. Old bandages. Not much blood. Minor wounds. Someone's meal, eaten recently. The merchant was right to be suspicious. Need a place to hide. Wait for the merchant's neighbor and his bandit friends to return. Yeah. Any trouble getting out of Hazamo? No, but I saw Mongols on the roads. I think they're looking for us. We should hurry. What did you bring this time? The statue of Inari. Oh, that's valuable. I'm surprised the Mongols didn't take it. Let's bury it with the rest. Thieves. Need to see where they take things. Keep your eyes open for trouble. How are the others? Hiding. Mongols rode by the house a few times. But so far, everyone is safe. Horses! Mongols! Hide! They're gone. Let's go. <sighs> we were lucky. They caught poor Tamon out on the road. Patrols are getting worse. Must be that samurai. He's got Mongols chasing him all over the prefecture. I hope he kills the bastards. Almost there. The sooner we're off the road, the better. What happened to Tamon? The Mongols impaled him on top of an anthill. He screamed for an hour. Horrible. Let's hurry and finish this. What are they doing? I hate burying Inari like this. Better in a grave than a Mongol ship. They don't sound like thieves. Hurry up. Something's not right. Enough. Don't move. Damn! I knew we'd been followed. Wait. It's the samurai. I'm glad it's you, my lord. 
That's a strange reaction from a thief. We're not thieves. You drove the Mongols from Azamo Bay. But what if they come back to raid us? We're hiding the most important things from our shrine. Just in case. Sotaro! Kihei! Come quick! Ukon, you shouldn't have left the others. We probably had the right idea. The Mongols found the house. Our people are trapped. They will be killed. How many Mongols? I couldn't count them all. Which of you can fight? Me and Kihei. You're with me. You two get in the house and protect your people. With what? Everything you've got. Mongols! They're coming from all sides. Attack! More coming. We should have run. I just Betty beat my. They're not giving up. Behind you! Bastards get in? No, you kept them away. Not us. Why? It was Lord Sakai. You're going to kill who are me? these people? Travelers fleeing the Mongols. People who lost their homes. And you protected them. We tried. You're not hiding those valuables so you could steal them later. No, my lord. We're not trying to get rich. After seeing what the Mongols have done, we only want to help. And help me lead these people to Azomo Bay. You'll all be safe there. How long has it been? Stop! I know bandits when I see them. You're not welcome here. They're with me. These people need shelter. Even the bandits. My lord, they can't be trusted. They fought to defend these people. They hope you hold this town. As you wish, my lord. Open the gate! Let everyone inside! I don't know how to thank you, Lord Sakai. Protect Azamo like you did those people. I promise I will. And make sure they know where to find what you buried when the Mongols are finally gone. You can count on it. Thank you for this chance to prove myself. Dead body. 
please. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I heard the name. He fought for the Yarikawa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhiro was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhiro Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Mongols, hide yourself. Give 
Pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Shigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. What has Yasuhira been doing? <sighs> White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tale. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white-leafed trees. <coughs> Yasuhira must have gathered leaves from here.
Was a man named Yasuhiro with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground, a dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, save him. Must be Shiginori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Blade has seen many tools. Footprints. Still fresh. Yasuhira Kuga. The butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you.
are you waiting for, boy? Not waiting. Studying. Learning. save you. You deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. Join me. Sounds like you have an interesting tale to tell, but I'm surprised to find you in Azamo. We both go where we're needed, Lord Sakai. My story is for your ears as well. Centuries ago, Tadayori Nagao was the greatest archer on our island, famed for his wisdom and perfect aim. Kami Hachiman himself was so impressed, he gave the archer his armor, light and strong beyond compare. In those days, cruel pirates raided the coast. They threatened the town of Azamo Bay with annihilation. The people fled to safety, but Tadayori faced the pirates alone, wearing his mythic armor. The pirates stormed the town. Tadayori's arrows tore through them. Few survived, but not one blow pierced Tadayori's armor. Years later, Tadayori died peacefully at home, but his armor mysteriously vanished. Some say his descendants guard it still, awaiting the rise of a warrior to defend Tsushima once more. The little writing about Tadayori that survives refers to a violet crown, a place in the north of Azamo, strewn with violet chrysanthemums, where Tadayori would often meditate. Driving the Mongols from our home is all I care about. This armor could help, if it's as good as you say. His armor is without equal, my lord. And I believe it is still out there. Find the Violet Crown. Could be here. Incense. Found recently. Something inside that container. A map to Tadayuri's rest.
more violet chrysanthemums. Father Yuri's rest could be close. Fish are too sheer to climb. There must be another way in. They find this place, a map like the one from the Violet Crown. Tadayuri's rest. Whose graves are these? Time's rushing river slows. Tadayuri's mind at rest. One drawn bow pierces many. The emblem of clan Nagao. Tadayuri's clan. Same incense from the Violet Crown. Lit recently. What are you doing here? Leave this place. I'm not here to fight. I am Jin Sakai, nephew of Lord Shimura. You're a liar and a thief. Defend yourself. I don't want to kill you. Stop! Fighting Mongols, not each other. You're nothing but a dirty scavenger. It's not possible. You know how to use that stolen blade. My lord, my name is Kaede, last of Tadayori's line. I heard the samurai were all killed, assumed you were a scavenger. I'm no thief, but I seek your ancestor's armor. And you deserve to wear it, Lord Sakai. But the armor is lost. And you have no way to find it. There is a line from an old scroll. Tadayori watches over Azamo Bay for eternity. I suspect it's a clue to where he hid the armor. Tadayori's armor gave him great speed and deadly aim. Wear it in defense of the innocent as he once defended Azamo Bay. Watching over Azamo Bay could mean the cliffs behind town. Violet chrysanthemums.
position. My lord, how did you find us? A descendant of Tadayori pointed me here. What happened to you? A Mongol spy found a long-forgotten scroll written by Tadayori's firstborn. They forced me to decipher it, and it led us here. So they found the armor? No. I misdirected them, hoping you'd reach us in time. You took a big risk. And it paid off. The armor is hidden beneath this memorial. Claim it for yourself, my lord. A memorial to Tadayuri. Stay back, musician. I won't let the Mongols near you. Oh, 
hundreds of pirates alone. That was like watching Tadayori himself. Armor is perfect for an archer. My tale found the right audience. And now it's time for me to move on, my lord. Lord Sakai, come quickly. Lady Masako, do you have news of your family's killers? On the list we found, Sada was at the top. He's the head man of Kuta Farmstead. Kuta's people served your clan. Why would he turn against you? Because he is an ungrateful traitor. My husband appointed Sadao as head man, and he repaid that kindness with bloodshed. I learned he fled Kuta the night my family was murdered. He must have heard you survived. Sadao is a deceitful snake, but his brother, Hachi, is a fool. He just passed by the temple carting food for the refugees. He will make an unscheduled delivery to his brother. And we will be there to catch him. We have to go, or we will lose him. After what happened at the inn, I didn't think you'd visit the temple again. I came to watch for Sadao's brother and mourn Clan Adachi's dead. Have you given your family a proper funeral? Not while their killers walk free. After my father died, I said goodbye to him that same night. It helped ease my pain. I buried them. That will have to do, for now. When's the last time you slept, or ate? I had some rice and fish yesterday. Even the youngest warrior needs a full belly and a rested sword arm. Are you calling me old, Lord Sakai? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. My sword arm works just fine. We should have caught up to Hachi by now. Which way do you think he went? Both roads look traveled. Let's search the area. He can't be far. Masako, look. The man with the cart. That's Hachi, Sado's brother. He's leaving. And we will follow. Close, but out of sight. Behave yourself, Ringo. Or no carry for you when we're done. He 
as visitors. We can't let them see us. What do you have in your wagon? Food? Water? Other things? Sure. Uh, of course. You were promised that. Not yet, but I have something for your guests. It's a meeting. We'll pass it along. He handed them a note. I'll stop here again at the usual time. We'll meet you there. Forget the wagon. Follow those horses. That man is an idiot. He's the headman's brother. Still an idiot. But he has good sake. Not today. Today, Ogi, it was a note. <laughs> that note is more important than your life. If we fail to deliver, the headman will kill us. So those are family. <laughs> From a bad family? His cousins are bandits. Remember the riots that erupted when Kuta Farmstead was sold on rice? Yes. Who do you think hired the bandits that slaughtered the protesters? Headman Sadal. A coward. I knew it. Right. So next time you think of the headman, remember the Kuta Master. Woodcutter's house, guarded by bandits. Sadao's cousins. He must be hiding there. We don't know that. But we will soon find out. Send your best warrior! Corpses can't answer questions. There's someone in the house. I'll make them talk. Let me try first. A note from Sado. 
Hachi gave it to the guards. Doesn't say where he's hiding. I'm not going to hurt you. My name is Sakai. Who are you? Hina, Sada's wife. My husband is innocent. The Mongols killed your family. Where is he? I, I don't know. You're lying. She'll help us. And she can't stay here. I'll take her to my estate. She's going to kill me! No harm will come to you. Masako! for your help. What are you doing here, Masako? Looking for my family. I already found my husband, but I've yet to find my sons. They died as warriors. Defending our home. Did you see where they f fell? No. The battle was chaos. I could barely keep eyes on my uncle. Let me help you find them. Still need to search this part of the beach. Look, over there. One of your soldiers? Yes, but alone. Do you think he deserted? When your husband fell, your clan surged forward to avenge their lord. No one fled. It's a comfort to know they were loyal to the end. Keep your eyes open for more of our banners. Masako, over here, an Adachi banner. He was riding down the beach. Then we will continue in that direction. The Kikuchi banner. I don't recognize him. My sister's husband fought for Kikuchi. Your brother-in-law could be close by. Should we look for him? Right now, I just need to find my sons. One of our banners. Who is he? This is Masanori. He was too young for battle. 
but his father was old, so he went in his place. Not only a brave soldier, but a good son. Yes, but where are mine? Naga warrior. The Nago archers fell many Mongols. Their skill was unrivaled. If only Sensei Ishikawa had been with them. Your uncle's banner. During the battle, when I saw these colors on a fallen man, I feared it was my uncle. Only fools have no fear of death. Uchikage, a close friend of my sons. He would have stayed by their side. They must be near. This way. They left their dead to rot. Like discarded trash. No. Shigeshato! <laughs> Yosanari! Strung up like an... Let's get them down. They should be with our family, buried beside their wives and children. The journey to Ariake isn't safe. Is there some place close we could bury them that would honor their sacrifice? The lighthouse. They played there when they were young, but it's been overrun by Mongols. Then we take it back. The lighthouse is this way. that tower. If they didn't come home at night, I could always find them there, gazing at the stars. You are a good mother. I used to think so, but my children are dead, and I am alive. There is no greater failure. I felt that way when my mother died, that I failed her. But you are so young. And she was ill. There's nothing you could have done. Even if that's true, it's a cold comfort. I know. Stay ready. There could be more. They're coming up the hill. Watch the grass. Look, through the tree. 
Line. They're relentless. Anymore. I think that's it. Then it's time. Let's bring my sons. I never let them spend the night here, even when they grew older. I always called them home. That's what I missed most after my mother passed. A voice calling for me. Take comfort in knowing she is at peace. They all are. I'll see you in Toyotama. There are still conspirators I must find before I can rest. But for now, I'd like to spend some time with my sons. I understand. Be well, Masako. <laughs> 